Well, Saab is got a little bit of a problem here. Not surprisingly, I guess. Um, issues with a brake master cylinder. I was trying to move the car a couple weeks ago and uh, the brake pedal decided to go straight to the floor. Nasty. So that is unfortunately a leak out of the back of the master cylinder. Uh, the booster did not look great either. So Just a lot of rust and flaky material. Went off of my 86 parts car. It looks a little bit better. These I have been unable to source. Um, probably due to COVID, maybe just due to the rarity of the part. This one still seems to work okay. I just put some paint on it to try to um, spruce it up a little bit. But I'm going to try to see if I can get a new or remanufactured one of these at some point um, later on. So I'm just going to put you uh, through how I got the uh, master cylinders out. This is the one off the other car. Um, it was just two bolts and then um, two fittings here come out over by the uh, coolant tank. So more on that in a little bit. Master cylinders also not available, so I think I'm gonna have to try to clean this one up a little bit and try to use it temporarily. Um, this is from the 86 parts car as well. So I'm gonna see if I can get a rebuild kit or try to find one for this one at some point and then try to um, get that cleaned up and put back in. I'm just trying to get the car back on the road until I can find parts, um, which could take a little bit uh, of time. So I'll put the parts from the 86, which hopefully will work, because they were working when the car was parked. Um, we'll see how that goes, and if it doesn't work, then I'll have to try to figure out another solution. Uh, let's do another clip here to uh, show you how I got to the booster and the master cylinder. So as I showed you before, these are these two uh, fittings for the uh, brake lines that go into the master cylinder. Um, and then the booster slides into these four holes, and then that's the hole for the main um, where the brake pedal linkage connects. So to get to that, you really have to take the knee bolster off and the heating duct. The knee bolster, that's the heating duct. This is the knee bolster foam thing. Um, there's two 10 millimeter bolts kind of slide in towards the bottom of the knee bolster, kind of hard to see um, when it's on the car. And then there's a center, I believe it's a 10 millimeter bolt as well. So on that side, in order to get down there, you have to really kind of go down. You can see there's the hole that goes into the car and there's another one on the other side. So those are the two outside. So there's three total bolts uh, for the knee bolster uh, that goes in. One of them is in the cabin, and then two of them go in through the outside. And then uh, way down here, it's probably going to be kind of hard to see, but I had to uh, pull the bolts out. It was a little bit easier on this car. There's one hole there, and then the other hole. Yeah, not really going to be able to get up in there. There's a th number four is up in that area, and then there's another one way over in the corner there, which probably won't show up. I just used a long um, quarter inch, a uh, couple of sets of extensions. I believe they are um, 13 millimeter. So this is a 14, which is too big. So yeah, they're 13 millimeter. And then there's a cotter pin that connects to the brake pedal assembly, which is now kind of messed up because it's just sort of bouncing free, but there is a hole in back of here and then it, uh, there's also a brake light switch assembly which I kicked out um, it's somewhere in back here really hard to see but I unbolted that as well because I had to take that apart to get to the cotter pin uh, to pull that out and you can see that on the back of the master cylinder or rather the booster it's the push rod that goes in cotter pin Later one has like a little bit easier clip to remove, which I think I'll probably use um, when I put the later one back in. Hopefully that will fit with the pedal bracket that's in there. 
trying to pull that off the 86 was um, a lot harder because it had cruise control and some other electronics like the part of the ECU was in there for the uh, later cars as well so it was a little bit harder to get the uh, booster out of the 86 than it was out of this one so we're gonna put it back together and then uh, try to bleed the brakes and uh, go from there when I do get newer components in line I will probably try to put new flexible lines in I don't know maybe I'll try doing that right now we'll, we'll see Let's see what happens um, if I can get the lines in in time and then maybe I can try to do that uh, either way all four wheels have to be bled I'm going to see if I can get a pressure bleeder for that, so um, we'll go from there when that uh, paint dries and we can get everything back together. Okay, so the alternate booster is in. I had to swap over the uh, vacuum line because it has to be a little bit longer on this car to get to the manifold than on the 1986 where it came from. Um, so that was uh, fairly easy. Got all four bolts back in, and then the linkage uh, to the brake pedal is the same um, as well with that pin. Uh, next thing I did is take the front wheels off, and then um, I went in, and uh, now we have new flexible lines because the other ones were looking um, pretty nasty. I think they were original to 1980. Um, so with the uh, reservoir off, I was able to uh, get those out without too much fluid leaking out. I think it actually looks pretty nice. Uh, pretty easy to change. You just have to remove uh, this fitting first. Um, and there's this bolt that you uh, unbolt, 14, 17, and then another 14 up here. They're flare uh, fittings or flare bolts. Um, so that's the same thing on each side. Um, next up will be to try to get the uh, master cylinder from the 1986 installed. Uh, I bought this weird thing on eBay that was a, for the, supposedly for the booster and the master cylinder was supposed to have an o-ring that fits in there uh, in between the master cylinder and the booster but it doesn't seem to have come with that o-ring so I'm going to have to try to get a uh, o-ring kit of some sort uh, and then figure out what kind of grease that I want to put where the uh, dowel or the you know, lever pin thing that actuates this goes in and then we can put that together and then work on starting to bleed it. Okay, so I have the master cylinder in place and the connections made. I uh, filled it up. So far, no leaks. So that's good. Um, it looks dry. Uh, so I did run some fluid through it uh, with a uh, vacuum bleeder. Those seem to pull fluid pretty well. In fact, I used <laughs> so much fluid that I pretty much run out. So I can't do the other caliper. I started it on the passenger side. So I'll have to try to hit this one next. I know you're supposed to uh, bleed the rears first, but I don't think it really matters because they are a separate circuit. So once I get some more fluid, I will try to hit the, the driver's side here. Also going to let it sit overnight and see if there are any leaks in the morning. And if that's the case, then we will not be able to go any farther with the bleeding procedure. So um, we'll see. Fingers crossed. Well, unfortunately, we have run into some setbacks. See that is nice and damp. Predictably, the parts car cylinder did not hold. Probably could have guessed that, but uh, this best shot that I could get. Um, it's leaking the exact same way that the one on the original or the running car is. Um, so I don't know what we're gonna do here. I gotta try to get a rebuild kit or something, or see if somebody knows there's some shop local shops here that may have more expertise in rebuilding than I do. I just know that this one looks like it has been rebuilt and then failed again. Look down on that, it's like a kind of a plastic clip. Uh, so I don't know, I just cannot source one of these, um, which is frustrating. I'll try again and see what I can do, but it's not available right now. Another issue, a little bit less of a headache, but um, 
Lost the blade screw on the passenger side rear caliper. Um, that is another headache. Just pulled on it with this little guy and snap. So luckily, those calipers are available, and uh, we should have a new one of those in a couple of days. This is a more uh, of a headache than I would like right now. So I'm going to end this video here, and uh, when I get another master cylinder, whatever that is, it could be a while, I'll put on another one. So uh, it will to be continued. Well, hopefully. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and uh, look for another update when we finally get this thing running, maybe.